Hi guys, in this video we discuss how to create a web API in ASP.NET MVC with database connection. So let's start. We click here, new project and select ASP.NET MVC for web application and name it MVC. API and select here web API and click to OK. It's now creating files and frameworks like adding entity frameworks projects jQueries and other files So now it's created. It's a API controller, value controller.cs. It's reside here. So now we create a database connection. We firstly add a database with Visual Studio. By default, server name is dot and select database from this drop down we select a test click to ok and find the connection string and add the following connection string in web.config file I add here name is equal to con and connection string is equal to and the provider name is equal to system dot data dot sql client system dot data dot sql client now save it and we need to add a database access layer for communicating communicating with the database we add a one folder here right click and add a new folder database access layer and add here a class a cs class file and name is the db.cs and uh, now firstly we need to add uh, three packages using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client using system dot configuration now we add a sql connection here sql connection object sql connection con is equal to new 
एंड कॉन्फ़िगरेशन मैनेजर डॉट कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग डॉट कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग्स वी हैव अ टेबल हियर हियर सीरियल नंबर सीरियल नंबर इधर प्राइमरी की ईमेल्स पासवर्ड्स नेम्स एड्रेस एंड सिटी सो वी नीड एड स्टोप सर फॉर फाइंडिंग द TBL registration record on the behalf of serial number. So we write a strip here for here. Create proc sp get detail by id. We write input parameter here int. as begin end select select straw from tbl registration where where serial number is equal to Number. We now to execute it. So it's now executed. Uh, we now here create a function for accessing the data. Public public data set because it's return type is a data set. Get Record by ID, and we need to pass a here a parameter in ID. SQL command is equal to new SQL command here, and there a connection object, and here is the com dot. Command type because it says stop save, so we need to specify the what type this command is in which type is it is in a stop share, and we need to specify the parameters value, and its parameters name is serial number. And we provide a value. And is SQL dot adapter D H equal to new SQL dot adapter. We need to pass here SQL command and data set new data set D H equal to fill D S and return. Data set. We now create a function for accessing the data on the behalf of their serial number. So we need to call that function to this API controller. So database we need to add here. Using system, we need to call it here. PC yes, it's here. Database DB is equal to DB layer is equal to new. Then we create a function over here. Public data set. So it's not showing. We need to firstly add packages. Data using system dot 
data data sql client it's now so the intelligence that's it get record int int id now create a object for database data set and because return type is data set so get record and pass that id and return to ds so now it's completed so we need to run this currently it's a return data type return format is xml uh, we need to pass a, a serial number then it's showing a whole record on the behalf of their id currently it's now build succeed it's now running we need to call that function by api slash value value is the uh, controller of api so currently it's running it's loading packages so we need to call uh, so now it's running so we need to pass firstly api values api slash values slash controller name and id is equal to 1 we give id is equal to 1 it's showing a multiple actions are found please specify the request it's because we uh, we we perform some changes in uh, web config web config in api folder it's uh, it's in a web api dot config we need to do some changes because api controller we need to add action so we we firstly stop debugging yes uh, action rebuild snow rebuild and then again run this problem occurs because uh, two parameters and two functions have the same type of return uh, same type of parameters because there are uh, two controllers like it each is a integer id and this function is also contain a integer parameters so we need to specify their actions now run this
need to change some changes sorry we need to add the error curly bracket we again run this currently it's return uh, data it's returns values in a xml format if we want to return format in json then we need to some changes in web api config so now run this oh it's now currently returned serial number emails passwords its column name and its their value one emails passwords name address and city if you, if you want to return type in json then we need to some changes in web api and config file we need to replace that code to return type in json now it's convert xml format in a json format so now again run this now it's uh, this function return type return in json format so now run this so it's returned in json serial number emails emails passwords and if i change the value here it's a uh, again return value of uh, serial number 2 so thanks for watching please subscribe my channels likes comment for watching more videos thanks bye bye